Here we have a CPU that came in for repair. And this one is the AMD Ryzen 5 3600X CPU. And you guessed it. It came in for broken pins. And it looks like the user attempted to work on it, but was not successful. Let me show you what I mean. If you look here, you see the user who worked on it applied solder onto the pads because you have how many missing pins? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven missing pins. If we tilt the CPU down a bit, we see that this pin here is bent. Okay, so for the most part, the pins are good, except for the seven pins that we need to solder here. How are we going to proceed with this? I'm going to apply some flux. Now we need pins. Where do we get those pins from? The only place to get those pins is from a donor CPU. And I have a box here filled with RAM chips and CPUs. A lot of CPUs, a lot of them. Some CPUs have pins that are taller than others. And that's why we have to make sure that we have the right CPU with the right size pin. I have over 45 CPUs in this box and they all have pins, as you can see. And I see one here with missing pins. I probably used that CPU before for a similar job. Let's take a look. Yeah. Somebody opened the door and then left. Good. Right there. Look at this one. I used pins from this CPU. It's an older one. Intel 08 i5. 480M. All right. Since I used pins from this CPU before to fix AMD CPUs, I'm going to assume that this one has same pin size. Let's use our hot air station. And I have air speed on low. We do not want to disturb other pins on the CPU. Let's take out the donor and bring the customer's CPU. And let's do it. Solid. And we have three more, right? One, two, three. Since we are looking at this top view, we may miss a pad. I want to make sure that we have pins on all those, and we do. One, two, three. Three more pins. And we're done.
and last one. Done. The job is done. Just very gentle because those pins are fragile. They can break. A pin will just pop. So we have to be gentle. And that's it. The job is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments and I'll see you again in the next video.